Artificial intelligence is permeating just about every industry. And the industry of dentistry has not been left out. So is artificial intelligence, that's AI, an enabler or a disruptor? We're here to hear the effects and the use of an artificial intelligence in dentistry. And once again, so happy to be joined by Dr. Kennedy Carson, who's the CEO of the Lake Basin Orthodontics Center. Dr. Carson, it's so good to host you once again here on Power Talk. Thanks for making time for us. I'd just like to begin by understanding um, artificial intelligence and how it's being applied in the field of dentistry. Okay, thank you uh, once again. Artificial intelligence is the simulation of human intelligence. It's like what a human can do being done by a machine more efficiently, okay? So we have two, two aspects that we have to look at artificial intelligence, yeah? The machine, this aspect called machine learning, whereby the uh, logarithms are placed in the machine so that they can reproduce the human work without instructions, so automatically. So now that we understand what that is, tell us how it's being applied in, in, in your field. Oh, well, artificial intelligence has been applied in dentistry in so many uh, uh, departments of dentistry. As you know, dentistry has a lot of uh, branches, yeah? Like we have auto, which deals with the alignment of the teeth. So in auto, um, it has been applied to help in diagnosis. That means to know you, what problem you have. Once you feed the x-ray and the history, the pictures or scans into the system, it will tell you what the, pro what the, problem, the problem that the patient has, okay? And then it also helps you to design a treatment plan for that patient. So it, uh, for example, a, a patient who comes to you that they want braces to be done to align the teeth, yeah? Instead of telling the patient, go and come back next week, the patient can come to you and have the braces done the same day because the, the artificial intelligence has helped you to get the diagnosis and have the plan for that patient on the very day. So you simply just discuss with the patient and then go ahead. And then now um, we have something called clear liners, which is a new thing in uh, orthodontics. Yeah? So whereby for people who don't want to wear the normal um, braces that are so visible, they use the clear liners to you know, it is a removable type of brace. Now, other fields like um, in oral surgery, the AI is being used to detect cancer because cancer of the, of, the, uh, of the oral mucosa or of the mouth, the structures of the mouth, has become so common. So in, uh, mostly patients will present at an advanced stage, yeah? So AI has enabled us to be able to, or rather dentists, to be able to uh, discover this early enough so that the patient can be helped. We have other fields like um, operative dentistry, whereby caries detection, like I have the scanner which is just at the back here, mm -hmm. I can use that scanner to detect the caries. So the patient doesn't have to go through the x-rays, yeah? Or I don't have to rely, x-rays can be so harmful to the patient sometimes if yeah. they're done so, so many times, yeah? So the scanner, actually, I can scan your teeth and it will be able to show me that this is caries. Because in initial stages of caries, even your own eye, uh, the clinical assessment may not be able not to identify that caries. Okay. Yeah. Other areas like implantology, uh -huh. Right now, even a, I don't want to call it a blind person because you still need to be a professional, mm -hmm. but even a blind person can now put in uh, place implants for a patient who is missing the implants. Why? The process has, so, so, is, has been so simplified such that you sim the patient simply comes, you take a CBCT, it is a 3D X-ray. Once the 3D X-ray is taken, we do a scan of your jaw, of your teeth, and then we marry them together and produce something called uh, a guide, an implant guide. So this guide helps us to know the length of the implant, the size of the implant, and put it precisely such that you avoid the, anatomic, the um, anatomical um, structures like nerves and blood vessels. Yeah, that so can be a risk to the patient. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's yeah. really helpful in terms of diagnosis, yes. in terms of a treatment, treatment plan, planning, uh, reducing to know the, the time. simulation, the outcome, yes. such that now the AI has actually helped in dentists so much that you can see how you, are, you will look like. For example, if you're missing a tooth or you have fluorosis or mm -hmm. you have, you know, spacing, mm. they, you can, there's something called a smile design. Mm. So you can design the smile to show the client 
what they will have at the end of the treatment. And it's so beautiful. Well, Doc, it sounds like AI is being used in just about every aspect of your field. And that begs the question whether artificial intelligence will then replace the human resource in dentistry. If it can do all of that, um, then what happens to the human resource? No, no, no. Uh, it can't replace the human resource. However, it has made the work of the human resource person easy and less training. Okay, you still need uh, AI is is uh, as I've said, it is an algorithm that is placed in the computer to help your work easy, to make things that used to take a long time, like diagnosis, treatment planning, you know, to be shorter so that the treatment can start early. And you can actually also use it to troubleshoot. Okay. The, the treatment uh, as you continue with the treatment. Uh, but one of the things you have said is that, um, you know, it reduces uh, the, the time of yes. diagnosis and treatment. Um, does that then have an impact on the cost? Just give us that, for instance, I know you well, said it um, makes it shorter. Yeah, um, so how, how much in terms of time and cost? Are the you time is say, reduced. Yes. The cost is increased. Okay. Why? The AI is expensive. That's the truth, yeah? Uh, what does that mean? For you to have, you eat, there are so much aspects that are needed for you to uh, assemble an AI system. You need the 3D scanner, you need um, a design software, you need a, a milling machine or a 3D printer. All these are not cheap. For example, the cheapest scanner is $3 million. Okay, so in terms of reducing the cost, and it's, it's, it's got a beneficial uh, to the client. Yes, yes. The time is reduced. The cost can be reduced if you're producing many. So it now relies on mass production. Okay, understood. So we've heard about how it's being uh, applied in various fields. How are you applying um, you know, artificial intelligence and 3D here yeah. at Lake Basin uh, Orthodontic <laughs> okay, Center? Okay, so as you know, in Kenya, I think the main problem that we have is right now is like, I don't know, uh, in our household is fluorosis, yeah? And Everybody is now having self-esteem issues because of fluorosis. The teeth are becoming mottled, the teeth are becoming brown, and so many people have been coming to us. Even before we started using AI, we were helpless because somebody has come to get a solution and, you know, you prepare the teeth, you want to do for them veneers. By the way, the main thing that we do here is veneers, uh, like you can see. Yes. I have them. <laughs> you can see my smile. Yes. And the crowns, yeah? Mm -hmm. So we, we would scan and send the image to Dubai, South Africa, or UK, so that they, and even to Turkey, so that they can do for us the veneers and send them back so that we can cement them on the client. So that really used to take time between, you know, to, if you want a good job, of course you can, you can say that you want to do it locally, but the, what, what about the quality? Because you are looking at the aesthetics and the longevity of this uh, kind of restoration, the veneers or the crowns, mm -hmm. right? And of course, right now you can actually, we are actually using this technology to give you a teeth re tooth replacement in one day. Okay. Yeah, something that would take weeks or months. You can come within the same day. If you have a gap here, we, we, we are able to give you the replacement in one day. Also, we've applied AI in the sense that for the implantology, yeah? we've implemented so much such that um, we can now produce your implant in one day. Okay. Initially, you would come to the clinic, we would um, take your scans, we would take the models, we would then tell you to come back so that we can give you the results and then we can do the implant. But for now, you can come to the clinic actually and get the implant done within two hours or so. Wow. Yeah, and that has become easy because we simply take the scan, we take the CBCT, which is the 3D X-ray, and then we marry them together to produce you what we call a guide. This guide will help us to know the size of the implant, uh, the ideal site where the implant should be placed and the length. So the risks of the implant uh, surgery like uh, nerve damage and all that are minimally mm. reduced. They are mm. completely reduced. Yeah. yeah, so quite some benefit. So tell us, you know, in, in your application of artificial intelligence here at, at Lake Basin Orthodontic Center, who are the patients that benefit the most? I know you've talked about the ones with fluorosis, um, which is the browning of the teeth, um, but tell us about the types of patients that have benefited from okay. the use um, of this. We used to have problems, as I've said, because 
mostly we would get patients who want to, you know, do mm -hmm. the, uh, like celebrities. We see a lot of celebrities here. They would want to, you know, make their teeth look nice since they have the fluorosis, they have simple misalignments, and we would only look at them, you know, uh, in agony without help. And it's probably send them to Turkey because most of them were going to Turkey. But the main challenge of them going abroad is that when it comes to the complications, when you get the complications and you get your veneers or crowns or implants abroad, and then now you are not able to, you know, probably afford the flight or get an appointment so that you can be reviewed, it becomes a problem. But right now, the advantage of doing it locally is that the doctor is with you. The doc doctor is at your service. If there's a problem, you can come and we can help you. So mostly those patients who used to travel abroad, they now come here and we are able to help them. So that is how we have applied um, the, the AI. And um, these other patients who used to, uh, how do I call it? Um, they were not able to afford it because out there it is very expensive. Now, since we've brought it here, we are able to at least try to reduce the cost by what I called mass production, okay? So, because the inputs of AI, the, the inputs into the machine that produce the same day crowns, same day teeth alignment, uh, the veneers, the aligners, the luminous, they're not cheap, they're expensive. So if you are, if for example, I can't buy the, the scanner, the milling machine, and the, the 3D printer just to see two patients, it will not be cost effective, it will not be an economy of scale, it will not be make any business sense. So you need the numbers to be able to, you know, to lessen the cost. Otherwise, it will be again uh, so expensive on the patient. So in terms of like medical tourism for people who are actually yes, exactly. going to seek these services out there, it's now available here Locally, due to investment yeah. in, in yeah, artificial exactly. intelligence. And we've seen, uh, actually, majority of our patients come from other African countries. Yeah? Uh -huh. We've seen patients from South Africa, we've seen from Nigeria, almost all over. We've seen them from Europe when they come to uh, vacate in uh, have vacation in the coast, they plan as one of the package of having their teeth done, aligners, implants, you know, uh, having uh, veneers, luminous, and uh, same day teeth alignment for minimal misalignments. Um, so, Dr. Carson, what do you see as the future of uh, the application of artificial intelligence in dentistry? Where will we be in the next five, ten years? And what will be the benefit of that ultimately to your patients? Okay, as I said, uh, Artificial intelligence is something that probably in the old world or in Africa is something new. Ten years ago, there was no application of artificial intelligence. Yeah? CAD CAM, which means uh, computer-aided design and computer-aided manufacturing, was not there. So, uh, first of all, uh, it has made the, as I said, it, has, it saves time. Okay? For example, uh, you can imagine you are, like you, you are somebody who is, have a very tight schedule. Okay, you might be having a dental problem, but you keep postponing it because if you think of having to go to the dentist and you know have the whole day there investigations and all that, and then you are told to come back the following day so that you can have your implant placed, it it may make you you know to to tarry and waste time so that by the time you are coming, we don't have bond to place the implant. So it has made it easy. I said that the scientists are working on mechanisms in which we have what we call preventive medicine, okay? And which is the, um, in dentistry, we also have preventive dentistry, and we talked of oral cancer, yeah? Another area that we have applied uh, AI in dentistry is use of conscious sedation. Uh, in the olden days, patients were so afraid of uh, coming for the dental treatment, for the bridges, for the crowns, and all those aesthetic uh, and cosmetic dental procedures. But right now, patients do, do not really need to be injected, or if they have to be injected, then it is painless injection, because the constant sedation uh, has become very easy to be used, because the AI allows us to control the machine automatically. So you can't give so much uh, nitrous oxide, because the AI will control the amount of oxygen coming into the machine. Another area is the use of um, virtual anesthesia in children, whereby the scientists have come with this kind of glasses that you put on, like if you can relate with virtual games, yeah? This calms you down and enables you to be anesthetized, and it takes you like to a slumberland 
whereby you don't feel the injection at all at all when it is being done. So it uses the psychology to calm down the patient and enables you to do the procedure. So this is all AI application. Also, we talked about the robots, yeah, that are coming to replace the dentist. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it has been tested in other parts of the world, mm -hmm. in just the concluded uh, World uh, Dental Conference in Dubai. They unveiled the robots that are actually able to do, uh, you know, uh, uh, placement of fillings on your teeth, uh, implants with precision. But as I said, it is very difficult, um, and I think people will fear. Uh, a robot applying the tools in their mouth because what if the er what if an error occurs yeah. because uh, you know um, machines are machines they can malfunction yeah. yeah but what you're saying is robots um, and artificial intelligence yes. cannot replace the human empathy empathy okay. yes the all emotional right. attachment I see they cannot okay yes. all right but in the future who knows, it's aiding the work that you yeah, do yeah, yeah. as, as, it, as it, human doctors. As human doctors, right. yeah. So it has made the work so easy and uh, the predictability of the results, that is what is important in dentistry. You know, dentistry is different from medicine in the sense that it's some sort of, we are some sort of carpenters, some sort of engineers, yeah? So it is art, it is science, and it is engineering. You have to be very good to be able to do, for example, if you are doing a patient masking, yeah. for you to reproduce the anatomy of that tooth, you must be artist, you must be artistic, yeah. okay? Uh, two, you must be a very good engineer to be able to, you know, prepare the tooth. It is like designing the tooth on the platform where the crown will sit. You have to be a very good engineer, okay? And then you must know the science behind it. You don't just start cutting somebody's tooth, yeah, without knowing the science of what you are doing. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, there you have it, the use of artificial intelligence and 3D technology in the field of dentistry that is ultimately aimed at making the client experience much better and improving the outcomes of all procedures that are conducted in the field of dentistry. Dr. Kennedy Carson, who's the CEO of the Lake Basin Orthodontics Center, joining us to talk more about that, saying it's more of an enabler than a disruptor. Jobs won't be lost, jobs will be gained, and jobs will be improved. Thank you once again.